ask questions? Whatever you like. I have a question for Neil. He was, he's a, one of the world's leading authorities on uh, climate change and extremes. I was wondering if you could say something about tropical cyclones, but also how I think sometimes people think that we're saying that anthropogenic or anthropogenic induced changes to uh, greenhouse gas concentrations is going to change everything everywhere. Whereas um, maybe that needs clarification. Thanks. <coughs> Thanks, Scott. Yeah, tropical cyclones is an interesting one because the, I guess there are three categories. There are things we're actually pretty confident about, about changes in the future. Things like we're going to get more heat waves, they're going to be worse, they're going to kill more people. And then there are things which where we know are going to change, but we can't even predict how they're going to change. And then there are things which we think we're probably beyond ever our capacity to, to actually talk about how they might change. Things like tornadoes, I suspect. But tropical cyclones is probably in the middle. I have no doubt that global warming is going to affect tropical cyclones. But the problem is our models aren't very good at representing tropical cyclones. Our physical understanding about how they interact with the global climate system is probably still a little bit rudimentary. So we, we just don't have the confidence to actually make projections with great confidence about how tropical cyclones might change in the future. We've got problems with even looking back in the past about tropical cyclones, about how many they are and how, many, how intense they are. And you can see that in both this report in the AR5 and in previous reports over the last decade that there's a lot of uncertainty about how tropical cyclones might change in the future. And that's what I'm pointing out, that our understanding of how extremes might change has become more nuanced over the last 10 years, but it's not that the world is just going to get, everything's going to get more extreme. Some extremes are going to get worse, and we're really very confident that big waves, hot days, fewer cold nights, uh, reasonably confident about uh, uh, some increase in intense rainfall events, but then there are a lot of other things, including tropical cyclones, but not just restricted tropical cyclones, that we really struggle with at the moment. And we really need to improve a big, a dramatic improvement in our understanding of the climate system and how it interacts with these small scale phenomena before we can make sense of the prediction. Okay.